Hello and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my Mac Mini and how you could speed it up, especially the base model. As you can see, it's the Mac Mini late 2014. This is the main reason of why our Mac Minis run slow, not because it's the 1.4 gigahertz and not because of the four gigabyte memory. So right now, as you can see in my application drawer, there's no applications or anything open. But if I try opening any application such as Microsoft PowerPoint, just watch how long this takes to open. It's just going to keep jumping, loading, and loading, and loading. And this took about 45 seconds for the application to open. And it's the same scenario if I try opening any other app uh, such as Excel or anything else. It takes really a long while for it to open. So without wasting any time, I'm going to be showing you how you can fix this issue. Make sure your Mac mini is fully shut down and have all the cables removed. And now you are going to need a prying tool to open this cover. It is not a lockable cover like the previous year models. So we are going to insert some pry tools and pry right up. These are the corners we're going to be prying. If you don't have a pry tool, you can use a straight screwdriver. Just be careful on not scratching your Mac. And the last one is right down here. Just lift. And it's going to pop just like that. There's no force or pressure needed. And once the locks are open, the cover is going to come right off. Now I'm going to open these top six screws. It's a Torx six size screwdriver. Once I have all six screws removed, it is going to come almost right off, but there's one cable attached to it, which you are going to have to remove. Once the cable is off, the cover is going to come right off. And now I am going to open these three screws on the fan assembly. And it's the same thing all the way around. We're just going to be removing screws off the board and off a different parts and removing the wiring to basically get to our drive, which is all the way in the back bottom. So everything has to be removed and the Mac mini shell itself has to be empty to get that drive out. And again, just be very gentle and cautious as all these cables and the board itself is very delicate. Once the screws and wires are removed, we are going to take the logic board out. Just apply downward pressure on the heatsink and push it right out of the shell and it should slide just right out. Now that I have the board out of the way, the next thing that has to come out is the power supply itself. And now the only thing left inside the Mac mini shell is the hard drive assembly itself. And after removing the assembly and the four screws on the assembly, I'm going to remove the old hard drive and install my new crucial SSD. And once I have the SSD installed, I'm going to reinstall the Mac operating system and I'm going to install all my programs onto it. And I'm going to test it out the same way by opening up Microsoft Office and Final Cut Pro, the applications that I normally use and see how faster these applications open. And as for the specs, it's the same exact Mac mini. And the only thing that's been changed is the drive itself from a standard hard drive to a solid state drive and it's really made a big difference in performance. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if this video has helped you out please don't forget to hit the like, share and subscribe button and please stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.